Welcome to Progressive Automation's YouTube channel. Today we're going to show a video on our PA30 wireless DC control box. Uh, we're going to show you how to connect it up to two linear actuators. When you purchase the PA30, you get the wireless receiver and two wireless remotes. Uh, how we connect it up basically is we've used two linear actuators, we've connected them together, we've connected it to the output terminals on the control box, and then we've, you, you we're using our AC15 AC to DC adapter. We're connecting that to the input side of the control box. Uh, once you have it connected up, you have your two wireless remotes. Either one of them will work. If you hit the up button, the actuator will extend. You can stop it at any point. It will hold the load. And you can hit the down button to retract. Another very popular option with this control box is making it momentary. So I've already unscrewed the bottom of this so you can take off the top. In here you'll see the circuit and if you look right over here you'll see a, a jumper switch just connected to one pin. Now if you look at the top it'll say CN2, at the bottom it'll say CN1. What you want to do is take this jumper pin off and connect it horizontally under CN1. If you can see right there. Once we uh, do that the control box is now in momentary form so the stop button no longer works. If you hit the up button the actuator extends. Once you let go of the button, it stops. Same thing going down. So that's an option for you as well. If you, A lot of people, when you don't want to fully extend or fully retract the uh, actuator, or you want to watch it while it's extending or retracting, momentary is the best option for you. If you don't want to watch it, then obviously the way it comes by default, non-momentary is the best option for you. If you have any further questions, you can visit our website at www.progressiveautomations.com or give us a call at 800-676-6123.